Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, this is Imam Karim Abu Zaid. Uh, Ramadan reminders, short reminders before Ramadan. Uh, I'm actually joined by Sheikh Mutahir Sabri right here, uh, sitting in front of me. And uh, we have also Brother Walid Muhsin right here. Brother Walid. And uh, Sheikh Mutahir, we're just trying to keep the camera, you know, focus somewhere because we have a lot of big news out there. Brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, Sheikh Mutahir is going to share an advice, just one advice for you to do. Uh, as you head for Ramadan, inshallah. Go ahead, Sheikh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Salatu Salam ala Nabiyana Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As you know, this is uh, fastly approaching us, uh, and we all we always should regard this as the visit by one of the greatest guests, and that is the visit of the month of Ramadan, inshallah Taala, where we hope to increase our taqwa, inshallah Taala, our, our obedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. God consciousness and fulfilling the obligations of fasting to the best of our ability. And so we pray that Allah SWT will help us to prepare to enter this great month and to give this visitor its rights. That is to fulfill the rights that are due to Ramadan, our increased ibadah, increase uh, istighfar to Allah SWT. And we pray that Allah will accept it from all of us, inshallah, and that he will help us to be better Muslims this year coming out of Ramadan than we were last year. Insha'Allah ta'ala wa barakla feek. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan, Sheikh Mutahir. What a concise and straight to the point uh, advice. Walid. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As I have, uh, have been always saying to everyone uh, that I advise during the months of Shaban, we need to have the intention to uh, enter Ramadan for fasting, looking what we're going to do after Ramadan. So the niya of uh, getting into Ramadan and how much hard work we're gonna do, uh, the intention has to be that would, it would be just a beginning of uh, doing much better than we have been doing in the last year. So I hope everyone uh, make the intentions now and perhaps do some extra but that's in this month of Shaban so that you can uh, acclimate yourself to the ibadat for Ramadan so that it will be the launching pad for everyone inshallah uh, for the coming months after Ramadan. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Inshallah Jazakumullah everybody Jazakumullah have a good Ramadan inshallah. Okay, uh, here is my piece. The month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given uh, you know, exclusive, exclusivity to Ramadan with the Quran. Uh, is your heart ready for the Quran? When you hear the Quran now, does the Quran affect your heart? If not, then you got to figure out your heart or try to have another heart. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, اطلب قلبك عند ثلاث. Imam ibn al-Qayyim compiled this in al-Fawaid. Call upon your heart in three occasions. One of them, عند سماع القرآن, when you hear the Quran. Does the Quran get to you? If it does, then your heart, the medium is ready to receive. If it doesn't, then there are a lot of stains, a lot of layers as a result of the religious misconceptions, shubuhat, and whims and desires. And this is the time to cleanse that heart to prepare it for Ramadan. Brothers and sisters in Islam, one of the early scholars was asked, which is better, to recite the Quran or to make istighfar, to make tawbah? You know what he said? A garment which is dirty is needing water more than musk, perfume. The water here is repentance, istighfar, to cleanse the garment. The musk is the Quran. Cleanse your hearts before Ramadan. This is 
and advice for me and for you. And jazakum Allahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.